Hi guys and welcome to Angling For You. Today you join me at the fantastic Lindham Lakes on Laurels Pond. And we're gonna have a look at something different today. Now you all know I've swapped and changed my landing net handles throughout the years, testing loads and loads and loads and loads of different brands. And I've got a MIDI one today. And that's one thing that I've never ever tested uh, on the channel before. Uh, not that I can remember anyway. Um, and it's a Muscle Tech 400, which is a four meter put over pole. Um, so it's gonna be interesting to see what it's like to use, what it's like to hold, uh, what it looks like, how stiff it is. Um, I've purposely not got it out of the bag due to wanting to test it and my honest, and, and obviously unbiased feedback. It is quite a thin profile to start with. It comes in a nice little packet. Now these retail originally around 70 quid, but there is people out there doing from around 50 quid new, which is bang on for a sort of um, decent landing net um, of four meters. So hopefully, it's worth that uh, price range. So just gonna trap this out of the way somewhere. Let's put this over here so we don't blow away. And I'm just looking at it, it's really nice in black and orange and a little bit of white and gray piping in there. Uh, T-Core carbon technology. So you think that it's gonna be stiff, it's gonna, it's gonna be strong. Who knows, let's... Uh, Let's give it a go. It's a competition competition match uh, handle. Now it's got something that's straight away very similar to the Drennans and the Prestons that I've had in the past. It's actually got a screw bottom. Now when I originally had a screw bottom, I didn't like it straight away, and I was like, "Oh, you know what? I don't like that." Um, but then now that I've not got it, I actually miss it. So I do actually vote for the screw bottom. Um, I think they're more durable and they're easy to get off when it's cold. I think sometimes I really do struggle with my with my uh, Guru when it's when it's cold. So what we're going to do is just put this one to the side first and we'll have a little talk about the additional top sections. So the, the only thing initially which is a bugbear for me um, but I don't feel it's going to be essential but might wind a few people up is that it's only threaded on one now i do like the two, the double threaded where the second section is threaded as well as um the top section the reason being is if i'm fishing short for carp or for f1s and i want to just use the end section and this um because it's really strong and i'm getting big fish in the net then that does help and i do do that myself with other landing handles where i don't use um the end piece but the end piece on this saying that feels like you, you couldn't even snap it over a tree um it does feel super strong it's got that carbon inlay as well there reinforced carbon inlay there and reinforced carbon inlay on the joints as well so that does fill me with a bit more confidence like i say i've never put it together so we will be finding out so I suppose if you wanted to do that one, two section, you could just fish it at that. And as you can see, holy moly, that is stiff. And um, that is proper strong. Um, so let, let, let's get on how it should go in its four meter variant. Sorry about the aeroplanes in the background. It's the only problem about Lindome is right next to an airfield. So again, the carbon reinforced join uh, that goes onto the main uh, part of the of the handle and that's it it's four meters and i tell you what you know my guys that is stiff as man that is stiff so even though my first initial worry was going to be that it would be a little bit um flimsier i um i must say and that's pretty damn strong so what we're gonna do is get a, get a little landing net handle on, a little head, and I'm doing. I'm filming a few videos today, and I'm going to be fishing with this all day. I'm not not going to be fishing with a normal guru, so we'll give it a right old test. So this is my net of choice for today because we're uh, fishing for F ones. And you know what? Fifty quid. That that's, that's not bad, you know. You know, it's not. It's not bad. It's not. We're not talking an hundred plus land, quid nap landing there. We're talking fifty quid, and for four meters, 
one-handed is is the test isn't it one-handed is it a little bit of movement in it yeah there will be a little bit of movement in it you know especially if you're on it four meters only at two meters obviously you're not going nowhere and that de depends to you where you want to do but in all honesty for 50 quid i don't think you can go wrong like there's not many other landing nets for that price brand new they're going to be as strong as this and it feels so strong i, I can't tell you how strong it feels yeah i really like that um so yeah hopefully that's give you a little bit of insight on this we're going to stick it in the side of where we're fishing today and give it a good old test um, and you have to check out some of my other videos today where we're fishing with it Well, if there was ever a test for the muscle tech, there it is with that near 20, if not 20 pound, unfortunately I've got the scales with us, um, size ghost carb, what an absolute unit. And the muscle tech just took it in its stride. So let's think about it. Are you really gonna catch anything much bigger than that? Not really, four meters, no problem. One-handed, scoopy doop and uh, is in the net. Now, what more can you say? Let's jump back onto the review and finish her off. 50 quid is a really decent br uh, price. Like I said, 70 quid is the RIP, um, but I've seen places online where they are selling it for, for 50 quid. So if you look around, you could get yourself a real bargain. And for me, that is a really strong landing net. Is there other landing nets uh, that are out there that are as strong or stronger? Yes, I would say there probably is, um, and certainly stiffer. But for example, my Guru is 180 quid. It's, it's more than double you know the more triple more than triple the price um of that so you would expect that but for 50 pounds for the everyday angler that's trying to get something strong in the fishing commercials and they, don't, they want something they can trust and something that's gonna um, do them uh, great without breaking the bank that is as good as anything that's out on the market right now so hopefully that's been helpful to you um and i want to get fishing so i'm going to crack on and uh, we've got a lovely chair in the background to uh, to sample and get out and matt, matt jackson's already uh, picking them in and uh, while i'm already yapping along in the corner so if you want to watch any of his other videos jump onto the face the youtube on uh, angling for you and search those playlists if you want to look and join on the group come and ask questions be part of a community angling for you on Facebook and if you want to just look at pictures and see what we're up to it's angling for you un angling underscore for you sorry at Instagram um, and if you could like share and subscribe and join the ever-growing angling for you family that'd be superb nearly 14,000 subscribers on YouTube and nearly 11,000 on the Facebook group unbelievable and until the next one guys thank you very much for watching tie lines <laughs>